Hello everybody, Ryan here. Uh, this is going to be my first collection video for uh, Star Wars. Vintage Star Wars to be exact, 1977 to 1985. So uh, let's get started. Here is my collection so far. Um, this is not my full collection. Um, I do have a patrol do back and a um, another Tauntaun, but uh, yeah, this is it for right now. I have a lot of figures. So uh, I'll start from the back and then I'll go into the front. Alright, so back here we have two R2-D2s. One is in very good condition, the other one is just an awful state. Um, here is an R5-D4, a Death Star droid, FX-7, the, uh, the medical droid from The Empire Strikes Back, the, uh, the gonker power droid, the little, uh, springy thing at the top is missing. I used to have, like, three of these, but, uh, I don't know what happened. Um, and here is the, uh, Death Squad, or Death Star Commander, whatever you would like to call it, because there were multiple names for him. Next, we have, um, the ATST driver, or the TIE Fighter pilot, whatever you would like to call him. Uh, he was released multiple times as, a, a different character. Snow Trooper, uh, he does not have his, uh, snow cape, but, uh, he's in very good condition overall. I mean, he doesn't have any yellowing. Majority of the white figures that I have don't have yellowing, so that's really good. Um, two Stormtroopers. Uh, this one's whiter than that one. And then, uh, right here we have Bosk, the bounty hunter. I don't know if I said his name right. Um... Then we have a Tuscan Raider, or Sand People, as they were called, on the box, or the, the card, whatever you like to call it. Uh, the At At driver. I never have any, I don't have any knowledge of my dad having an At At, but uh, that is the At At driver. And the other uh, Tuscan Raider, who's in very good condition overall, uh, Boba Fett, great condition. I don't think you can see him under there. <sighs> All right, Greedo. I have two of them. Uh, the one on the left is in. Whoops. Okay. Well, uh, I have two Greedos. The one on the left is in better condition than the one on the right. Uh, the one on the left has eyes still. The other one does not. And we have two Hammerheads. And then uh, two Walrus Man or Walrus Man, also known as Bumface. I have a, a red snaggletooth here, the tiny one, but I actually also have a blue one. Um, I don't take that one out because that one is worth a lot more than the red snaggletooth. And then we have a Jawa down here. Next we have uh, Admiral Akbar. He collapsed, just like a uh, majority of the others. Uh, two Chewbacca's. Um, I hope to be getting a, a restoration kit for uh, Christmas or buying restoration kit after Christmas so I could um so I could uh, be able to create a new car back for a majority of these so I have two there they're both in great condition they both have uh, paint still on their bandolier but the only downside is is that they're just like the uh, other ones where their feet their left foot is slightly bigger than the right and then this is Darth Vader. Um, me being stupid, not taking care of my dad's old toys, I cut the tip off of that lightsaber. I uh, used to be telescoping, and then I removed the cape on Darth Vader because I'm just dumb like that. Here's uh, Princess Leia, Organa. Surprisingly, no yellowing on this figure because it's been locked up for so long, but. Um, then here's Luke Skywalker, the rare blonde hair version. Um, quick, quick, quick fun fact here. A very, very quick fun fact. I actually, um, was informed by my dad when, uh, he, when I dug these up, that Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, one of these Chewbacca's, and this R2-D2 right here were uh, part of his mail-away package in 1977 or 1978. 
um, when it was first released. He, uh, he was about seven or eight when that was released, so these are, majority of these are inherited. And, uh, here is Obi-Wan Kenobi, my best condition figure. He still has his cape and everything. I mean, I don't have his lightsaber anymore because that got taken out a long time ago, but, yeah. And, uh, here is a very, very bad condition, Toth Han Solo. Uh, here is his Tauntaun. Um, I actually have two of these. One has an open belly. As you can see, this one does not. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. And then right here is my, uh, my dad's original land speeder. Um, I hope to be recovering the box for one of these, but it's, the spring mechanism still works. And, uh, yeah, so that's my uh, vintage Star Wars collection. If any of you were wondering, um, what I'm basically trying to do is I'm going to be reviewing, um, the lines one by one, figure by figure, so, um, yeah, um, that's about it, and, uh, if any of you were wondering, um, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get, um, a Dagobah playset, and a Jabba the Hutt playset, and a, uh, Rebel Snowspeeder, and a, uh, like a Scout, Biker Scout, and Bespin Luke, and C-3PO, because I don't have those, and, uh, I really wish I had those, but I do not, so... You know, money's tight, and uh, I don't think I'll be able to get one of them. So, um, yeah, I don't think you'll see part of those in my collection for quite a while. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, peace out, Star Wars Collector fans. Oh, wait, also, this is like late in the video, but uh, I just wanted to give two shoutouts. Uh, one to Austin, or the Double A Brothers who has been very, very, very kind to me. Um, we've been discussing playsets and PlayStation Vitas and all this stuff. Uh, we're getting to be good friends, and uh, he's one of the first people I met in the YouTube community. And uh, I suggest you check him out, and I'll uh, leave his uh, channel in the description. And another one. Um, I watch his videos every day, nonstop. Um, Action Jackman. Um, He's great. I mean, he is great. Um, he's a really nice guy. You should really check out his channel. He makes reviews all the time from vintage Star Wars to actually Action Jack. Um, like all these Marvel toys, the real Ghostbusters. I think I've seen every one of his reviews. So, uh, yeah, this is a pretty long video, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, have a nice, nice afternoon, night, evening, wherever you are.